if you really understand deeply what what life's about, and uh, certainly Kabbalistically, if you if you have a Kabbalistic point of view of life, which essentially is you see everything as a manifestation of the Creator, of the light. That's the light, and the light is being revealed in many different vessels. So there's nothing, nothing. There's no, there's no such thing as a, as a coincidence because everything is revealing the light, and everything is really interconnected and it has meaning, and has purpose. Now it doesn't mean that we always understand its purpose, and just because we see a connection between events doesn't mean that we have to follow it. You know, um, you know, you meet someone, this single guy goes into a bar and meets this woman and says, "Oh, this is divinely orchestrated. Obviously, I have to marry this person." Not necessarily. I mean, just because you see a, a, some, you know, coherence of events doesn't have to, doesn't necessarily mean you have to follow it. What you really have to do is actually ask yourself the question is, what does this experience mean to me? Um, is this actually a person that's supposed to open me up or close me? Am I supposed to resist this person or enter in a relationship with this person? So every experience in life is true and has meaning, but not every experience is meant to pursue. Sometimes things are shown to us to actually resist them or to overcome them and their challenges.